and what I found out was that I was pregnant. So that was another surprise that we had not planned. I can't tell you how I felt because there were so many emotions yeah, coming at the same time. I was um, excited but it was just a tiny bit frustrated because my doctors that I um, met two weeks before I got pregnant uh, told me that I will not be able to have kids in the next two or three years. So I thought, okay, well, um, I have not planned any kids soon, so yeah, two or three years sounds okay. Well, it happened differently and um, I got pregnant in February. I found out in March uh, when I was five weeks pregnant and yeah, I was uh, excited but also scared at the same time. Everything just yeah was thrown at me. <laughs> um, I had other plans for this year. I wanted to do 12 races and ladies runs and Spartan races and all that stuff. So um, we already had booked the flights Windsor in October. So the Spartan race in Windsor and um, another race in um, the south west of uh, the UK. I have no idea what it was called. Uh, it, I think it was around Mount St. Michael, so my boyfriend wanted to um, do a race there and I would have been there just um, for support. And um, yeah, I could not go because uh, I could not fly anymore. I did travel this year uh, and I traveled in April with a friend of mine, with Sabine, to Copenhagen. Um, and it was a very nice trip. I loved the culture and everything around that and the hotel was amazing. So it was Bella Sky um, Hotel in Copenhagen, a little bit outside Copenhagen. And I made a few travel vlogs about that. But in these vlogs I did not tell the people that I was pregnant. And I think I was two or three months pregnant then. So yeah, you could not see anything till the seventh or eighth month of my pregnancy that I was pregnant. May I did a race. I did a ladies run, the Austrian ladies run in Vienna. I also filmed that. So there is a video on my channel here somewhere um, where I'm running. And uh, in June I also did two races. One was in Linz, um, the Garmin ladies run. And then the last run I did this year, I did three races instead of 12, was um, Burgenländische Frauenlauf in Bad Tatzmannsdorf. It was very beautiful, a little race with few hundred people, um, a few hundred women. Um, the Austrian ladies run was um, yeah, a lot of people. 33,000 women started there and I was one of them. It was not so much fun running with yeah, a, a belly. You could not see the belly but uh, I felt it. I could not run as fast as I wanted and as I was used to. I'm not a very fast runner. Uh, anyway, but with the pregnancy I was even slower. So I hope this year I will be able to go a little bit faster because I want to do it again. Um, yeah, that was June. July I um, have been to Salzkammergut with my boyfriend for a week. So we had something like an early baby moon. And um, the week was amazing, the water was very cold at Wolfgangsee, it had around 18 to 20 degrees Celsius, so it was too cold for me. The water was so blue, it almost reminded me of the Caribbean. So, yeah, beautiful. Maybe we are going back there this year. I can't remember if there happened anything exciting in August um, or September. Usually my maternity leave would have been in the middle of September, but I had so many free days left at the pharmacy where I'm working at. Um, I did my maternity leave, or I had my maternity leave 
in the mid of August, so one month earlier, which was good because I could not do it anymore. I did not feel very comfortable um, with my growing belly because in the seventh month it started to grow. Um, like I said, the people did not know that I was pregnant till you could see it in the seventh month. And then uh, I did not feel too, too well with all the um, running around the whole day. It was a very hot summer anyways and I had problems with uh, my head and blood pressure and yeah, that was not so great and yeah, the pregnancy made it even worse. It was a warm September. I enjoyed it a lot and uh, I tried to prepare everything and I started to buy a lot of things for the baby. I did not do that till the seventh month really. The only thing that we bought was um, the Bagaboo buggy uh, that we had to order a little bit earlier. But yeah, then I started to nest and make everything ready for my baby. The usual birth date that the doctor told me would have been the 9th of November 2018. But my little boy decided to come earlier, which made me very happy because I did not want to wait um, that long. And he came on the 20th of October 2018, so exactly three months um, before my birthday. It was a natural birth. Um, and yeah, it was different than I had expected, but thank God it was very fast. The delivery, um, my contraction started around 2.30 p.m. and he was born around 7 p.m. So uh, he's my first child and he was here after four and a half hours of uh, yeah, pain. <laughs> if you have your first child, it usually takes around 12 to 48 hours till the baby is born. But my boy was here after four and a half hours, so it was okay. It was a beautiful sunny day. I woke up at around 7.15 a.m. in the morning and yeah, my water broke. And um, I called an ambulance because they said if the water breaks you should call an ambulance, you should not move anymore, you should not stand up or do anything. So I was lying on the floor, my boyfriend was still in bed and I woke him up. And yeah, I called the ambulance and we drove to the hospital. And in, yeah, that was at around 8 a.m. in the morning and the real pain started at around 2.30. So that was an exciting day. This was something that we had not planned so early. The whole pregnancy and having a child, everything is still very new for me. My baby boy is sleeping in the room next door and I'm always listening if he's crying or not because it's 10 p.m. in the evening at the moment. In this first few weeks with him, he's turning uh, three months on my birthday. Um, yeah, the times and all, all the routines have changed. So when we came back from hospital, um, he woke up seven times in the night time. So it was not really uh, sleeping for mommy. We did a lot of cluster feeding because he always wanted to um, be nursed. He was afraid of the dark, he still is, but not not uh, as scared as he was at the beginning. So we had to sleep um, in a room with the lights on. And I could not sleep in a room with the lights on. His daddy couldn't eat him. So yeah, it was <laughs> it was something we had to get used to. He's waking up um, yeah, during the night once or twice now, which is good. And um, he slept through the whole day since the very beginning, since he was born. And uh, around 7 or 8 p.m. he always started to cry and I had to cluster feed him. Now he's more active and talking now, not really talking, just uh, throwing a few noises around him and uh, yeah, brabbling and 
bubbling. Let me tell you something, if someone had told me last year on my birthday that I would um, sit here one year later and tell you guys and also myself if I'm re-watching these videos that I'm having a kid then I would have thought okay this person is crazy. But uh, yeah, everything happened so fast this year. I got pregnant in February and I had my baby in October. And uh, we already had very important first times like this first Christmas and first smile and uh, first time rolling around and a lot of that stuff. And yeah, it's an adventure and I can't even tell you how much I love him. I would not have been uh, able to to know how it feels if I had not my baby. Um, if someone told me that you would love this unconditionally, I would not have understood what that means. But having a baby now, I know exactly what that means. <laughs> and sorry, this is the hormones, I'm almost crying. Um, I'm loving him so much and I'm so happy that I have my son and he makes me happy every day that I could not wish for anything more so yeah he is the best uh, Christmas and birthday gift I could have wished for I will stay at home for one year and <laughs> watch him grow every day. In October I will start working again at the pharmacy and um, yeah, after his first birthday and then I uh, will reduce my work time. I will not work as much as I did before I had him. Um, yeah. And that is the plan for the next year. So the last year was very exciting with um, all new things that came to me and that I had to experience with my body and how everything changed and um, how I felt the baby move and, and yeah, how I felt myself. Being pregnant is not something I enjoyed a lot, but Having my baby now is the best thing that I could have ever imagined. So, yeah, that is my resume for 2018 and beginning of 2019. I'm so happy that I have my baby. Uh, I think I will not show him on camera. I want to keep this private. Um, I'm making a lot of pictures and videos with him every day so that we have something that we can look back uh, in a few years and watch this and uh, yeah remember this time but I will not post it on YouTube. I'm writing a blog now um, but it's a German blog. I started it around New Year's Eve and there is everything about my birth story and my experiences in the first three months and um, this is something that um, I really wanted to do, but like I said, it's German. So I'm just typing a lot, I'm writing a lot. Um, yeah, it's like my diary that I want to share with other mothers who might go through the same experiences that I had and I'm still having. So yeah, you see my priorities have changed this year. They have changed a lot. Uh, I was not able to do any Spartan races at all, but I think uh, that was something that I was willing to do and to sacrifice. Um, quitting Spartan races this year for the sake of my baby. And for 2019 I've already planned a lot of races, so I'm going to do the Austrian uh, ladies run again. I want to do the Burgenland edition ladies run in Bad Tatzmannsdorf again, this time a little bit faster. And then I want to do a Spartan race in St. Pölten in Austria this year. And um, 
I might do a spring race here in my village, the first time that um, such a spring race is taking place here. At the moment I'm starting to uh, work out again because for almost a year or 10 months I have not done anything. Um, I didn't feel too great after um, giving birth because I was sore and yeah, everything um, went back into place, so organs and my back and everything started to hurt a lot because yeah, everything is um, going back where it belongs. And now in January I'm finally able to do the things that I really want to do and at the same time I'm enjoying to be a mom and enjoying every second with my baby. So yeah. This is everything that I can tell you about 2018-2019. It was a crazy year, it was an interesting and exciting year and also an exhausting year. But um, yeah, I would not change it for the world. Okay, I thank you very much for watching this video, my birthday vlog in 2019. I have no idea how many birthday vlogs I already posted now on my channels. This might be the fifth or sixth, I'm not sure anymore. Um, however, if you are still watching this birthday vlogs, thank you very much and I hope to see you maybe next year. And uh, if you don't want to wait that long, click on this channel a few times in this year and I hope that I will be able to post a few new videos here. I have many things on my computer that I want to uh, put online, but the problem is that I have not a lot of time to edit all that stuff. So there is a lot of footage, many hours of footage, but yeah, I have also other priorities at the moment. I hope you understand. Okay, again, thank you very much and I wish you a great day and even better night. Bye!